Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. It's Wednesday the 21st of October. Thanks again for watching. Um, <laughs> things are still tricky here at the WeatherWeb Weather Centre. Uh, we really are struggling with what's going to go on next week. And almost it's better to try and pin down the weather into November uh, than what goes on next week. Um, I'll show November in just a second, but let's just pick up on... Uh, next week, first of all, just wanted to show you some comparisons of um, the model runs and what's been going on. This is the ECMWF. It's from uh, weatheronline.co.uk. They've got some excellent representations of the ECMWF there. And what I wanted to do is just to um, go through the forecast for next Tuesday, but the various different runs. So this is the forecast for Tuesday as issued on Saturday. And as I just go through the sequence here, you'll notice how... Um, as the time comes down here, so i.e. the next chart can be Sunday, then Monday, then today's forecast, ready for next Tuesday. You can notice the differences in the prediction. So these charts all are valid for next Tuesday, the 27th. So on Saturday, uh, we got a trough predicted down through the UK. Um, you notice how at 500 millibars actually little changes. That was Sunday. So good uh, comparison between the two, between Saturday and Sunday. Um, Monday kind of wobbles a little bit, but still the overall idea of a trough in here. So it still kind of keeps that theme going. And yesterday's forecast had the trough back in place as well. Remember these all for next Tuesday, the 27th. And then today's has pulled it back further west. So this was yesterday's, just to remind you that was yesterday's look. Uh, we've got a, a, a double feature in here, feature in here, feature in here. But then today's is trying to um, make more of that secondary feature out here, moves the trough up towards the north and keeps the whole system off west. Now the difference that makes in terms of surface pressure is this. Um, that's the forecast for Tuesday as issued last Saturday. So this is Saturday down here. Now, as we just knock it on, no, there is Sunday's prediction. Sorry, that's gone a little bit smaller. There's Sunday's prediction. There's Monday. So still with the idea of low pressure coming through. But you see the difficulty in trying to pin down the detail. That was yesterday's prediction. That's today's. So the difference between yesterday where we got a low centered out here, secondary low in here. And today's is basically that look. We've lost the double center and we just get this big center off towards the west of Ireland. It really is hard to pin down the detail. And in fact, the uh, GFS is similar to, this is the prediction for next Tuesday, again, from the GFS. And this is from midnight last night so this is valid from midnight last night puts a low in the heights here but just look at how it handled this situation prior to that so this was the six o'clock run and it pulls the trough back further west so it pulls the trough back out here so that was the six o'clock run that was the midnight run six midnight and the difference that makes at the surface is this that's the midnight run with a deep low centered across the country next tuesday wet and windy that's the six o'clock run which puts the low off towards the west of ireland here and brings in these southerly winds so it really does hinge on the positioning of this low and it makes the difference between Pretty cool wet and windy conditions across the UK or uh, milder, but still damp, but most of the rain out towards the west conditions across the UK. What we can say is it does look as if there's going to be a trough in place during next week. But as I say, almost in a way, November's easier to try and predict. And you go on about models not agreeing with various different runs, but the CFS is arguing with itself as well at the moment. This is the, CF, the uh, MJO prediction from the CFS, from the excellent Karma at Riches site. And it pulls us into phase one around about the 30th of October, phase two around the 6th of November, getting into phase three about the 12th of November, and then into phase four around about the 17th of November. 
Now, what the CFS is trying to do, if you look at the raw charts, is keep things wet through the month. But watch what happens when we take a look at uh, the normal conditions throughout. So this is the 6th going into phase 2, the 12th to phase 3, the 17th into phase 4. So 6, 12, 17, that's what you've got to remember. Um, so this is phase 1. So that's how phase 1 usually appears. And this is what we're in at the moment. Here's phase two. So this is phase two, remember, um, which we're getting into around about the sixth of the month. So there's phase two, very unsettled, jet across the UK, really unsettled into that second week of November. Phase three looking like this. The low of the normal height's getting squeezed off towards the north, jet still through here, ridge down towards the south, so things drying up from the south. But this is the important one, getting into phase four which is around about the 17th of the month. So getting into phase four looks like that. Ridge across the country, high pressure in control, increasing risk of mist and fog. And that really is from around the 17th, 18th of the month. So these indications coming in from the CFS have improved conditions towards the end of November, or at least during the second half. Of November. Now, the NAO prediction from the CFS, again from Carl McRitchie, looks like this. It's the grey lines that we're interested in, and it kind of bounces around in this sort of neutral territory, which indicates those westerly winds. Incidentally, just look how strong, how positive it goes here, running up to around the 3rd or the 4th of November. So, real strong westerlies coming across the Atlantic. Then it kind of bounces around here. So, the westerlies are there, just not quite so strong into the early parts of the month. But then it dips negative and it tries to get that negative in around about the 25th, 26th of the month. But as we've just seen from the um, phase four of the MGO, which is predicted to be coming in around about the 17th of the month, um, that's the cold one with the build of pressure coming in. So it seems that we're kind of in the 17th to 25th-ish period to watch for this high getting in, things turning more frosty and more foggy too. And just out of interest, look, it stays on the negative side heading through December into the early part of January. Of course, long way off, believe it, at your peril, but certainly interesting to see where that MGO, MJO is taking us. Start to get some thoughts of a cold December ahead. So lots going on. Um, <laughs> really... The main part is trying to get this weekend and early next week out of the way. Just, I think that's going to have a bearing on how the forecast shapes up as we head into November. So uh, much riding on the next couple of days. Of course, we'll keep you up to date here at weatherweb.net. Don't forget to check out the fast forecast for the detail for the next three days. But for now, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.